welcome back. Um, OBS in the game crashed, so I had to redo a bit from the beginning of chapter 3, which is when you wake up. But now it should be good, hopefully, there will be no interruptions. Fine, this is a older game, it's normal, I guess, to crash. That or that you have Katemita I hate this sound, I wanna kill him right now. Ah, I hate people chewing loud. Oh! Close the door, it's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I Derek. remember your dad. Why? Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's, He's dead. dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, man. Huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Oh, I can't wait till we kill this guy in uh, Follow me. Empire. Well, Empire is a bit much, but he's a business. I am following you, Steve. You're pretty fucking slow, Steve. Can we move your ass, Steve? Steve. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? The door is open left when you had enough. Enough what? Do I get an achievement? Cause... 
if you didn't notice, I'm really into achievements. Jeez, all this for ten lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm not staying. I'm not doing this all day. This is the last one. Fuck this shit. I mean, ten bucks was not as low as now. And back then, ten bucks was. Hey, okay. you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Hey, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Okay, so we have relations. Now we get the real jobs. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but... I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women. They're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss, I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, no, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Okay, I need that magazine. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. I don't think I have to kill this dude. But just in case, I... Hi, right, Joe, hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the How port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the sea air and meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Okay, what do I have to do? I think this is really like... I intimidate someone, I punch someone. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the bar. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. 
Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I, I don't want no problems. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Nice. Next time. Who's the next time? So I need to collect 150. I have hey, 20. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Whatever. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Oh. Okay, okay, enough already. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you Thank decided you. to reconsider. No, I have to be this black guy. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, yep. you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? This game is easy. Both of them are good punches. Blockable. <laughs> He's <laughs> Dutch, 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 punch, punch. He's great Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? No. Well, I didn't get enough. Why? Okay. I guess it's better to beat one black guy than big 15 white guys. Or something like that. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Now say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Okay. Well... I guess this was worth my while. Didn't get the boring ass job. Really, I got hurt from falling from that. I can make that jump in real life. Can I scare this guy? Nope. Thought he was gonna drop the crate or something. Right, let's check where the... Okay, all the way down there. Up there. So everybody knows. Try to 
to play with uh, re realistic driving rules. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, the cars there can go. Hello, Joe. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Yeah, shuttle. he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? How you, Joe? This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth a fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this much. alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, you cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Okay, so stealth thingy. The problem with this game is that... Um, you can't um, you know, so long, save. So if you fuck something up, you're gonna have to restart from a long way. But I guess this is the end of today's episode. I mean, there's two episodes because of the obvious fuck up, but whatever. So uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, tell me if you wanna to do something specifically or if I'm being uh, fucking retarded in this gameplay and I'm doing something wrong um, yeah thank you for watching have a great day bye bye